What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got kind of a fun one for you today. Uh, this was actually originally purchased for my Atari Creep YouTube channel. It didn't arrive on time. We'll get to all that in a minute. Uh, but seeing as today is the anniversary of George A. Romero's passing, I figured, you know what, I think it's time we just open this. And I chose to do it on this channel as a random review. I used to do those all the time. Mostly Dollar Tree stuff. So I, I pre-ordered this for my other channel. And uh, it was supposed to show up in October, but it, it, it didn't show up until like April of that year. Again, maybe three, four years ago. And because of that, I just kind of kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. And it's just been sitting around. Every now and again, I bump into it and I go, oh... One of these days, I'll open it. I mean, I haven't preserved it because I'm a collector or anything like that. I just haven't opened it because I kind of lost interest in it. So I ordered this from FrightRags.com. They have this thing called the Nano Force series. I believe it says it there, too. Uh, they did one for Halloween, I believe. Um, was it Michael Myers? Or was it Loomis that they did the big figure? I can't remember. But regardless, they did it for a couple of different franchises. I was kind of hoping that maybe I could do some research and see if they did. I was kind of hoping they did Don and Day. Day being my favorite. Uh, this being the most iconic. And of course, Dawn of the Dead being probably the most fun and the best revered movie of, of the th original three anyway. If you're curious as to where I fall as far as uh, rating all the zombie films from Romero, on my Atari Creep channel, I actually just recently did a tier list of just his zombie films. Uh, you know, not even thinking about... You know, the, the anniversary was passing, so I ordered this from Fright Rags. It didn't show up in time, and it's just been kind of sitting around. So let me let's zoom in a little bit here, and we'll look at the back. I'll show you what's going on. So it's these army figure style minifigures. I'm really, I love these things, man. I wish I had purchased more, but it is what it is, I suppose. But it comes with all these figures, and it's funny, they call it a bonus. I, can I complain just for a minute about using the word bonus for something? There is not, it is not an, a version of this out there that does not have this. They didn't like just sell these. Had they just sold these and then came out with this, you can call it a bonus. It's not a bonus. It's included. So I don't know. Don't fall for the, don't fall for the industry bullshit. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, here's your PSA for me, for the day. So, all right. So let's get back over here. So who do we have? We have Ben. Obviously, we have Barbara. Johnny, Tom, Judy. Judy was cute. Um, undead Johnny. Harry Cooper, Helen Cooper, and the child there, Karen. The cemetery ghoul. The tire iron ghoul. And of course, the nightgown ghoul. It's pretty cool that they included her. I know she's iconic and everything, but that woman seemed to have had... I don't know if she's still alive or not, but she seemed to have had a lot of fun about it. I guess people would show up on her, pr her property... And asked to talk to her about it and everything. And she just loves it. She's like, I never made any money, but I got a million, I got a million dollars worth of memories. <laughs> Good sport. Good sport. George Romero, I guess he what he used to do is um he'd give you a dollar and he'd sign something that said stay scared. That's what extras got paid. I don't even know if back in the night of living dead days he even did that. He wasn't really even known yet. I don't know. So I'm finally opening it. I'm finally opening it. Let me get the plastic out of the way here. So let's... Good, no tape. Done. No tape. No tape. Alright, let's drag this bad Larry out and have a look. Alright, well there's literature here. Now, again, this is a couple of, couple of years old, so I don't know how current this literature is. Oh, okay. Is this like a little placemat for your figurines? That's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty cool. Let me uh, do that so you can see more. Sorry about my table. I do everything at this table. I do all my work at this table, so it's always a mess. That's pretty cool, man. No, I don't think I'll ever use it. I thought this might have been a catalog or something, but I guess not. It's a poster, too. That's pretty rad. All right, well, let's come back down to Earth here. We'll have a look at the individual figurines. It looks like they're all in baggies here. So let me pull off this lid. And we'll 
pull this guy out first. There we go. Look great detail on these. Let's see, is that supposed to be Ben? I can't see through the camera. I'm gonna assume that's Ben, yep. So we got Ben. He's got a sister named Eileen. I bet you didn't know that. Their last name are Dover. The Dover twins, Ben and Eileen Dover. <laughs> All right, enough childish, childish rhetoric. So let's open these bad Larrys. Let's see, who do we have here? We have, I believe this is Judy. Judy! Judy! All right, we'll put her over here. We got her boyfriend, Tom. Turn them into a barbecue. <laughs> All right, there's the young lady, the trowel. The trowel zombie, Karen Cooper, I believe her name was. Karen? Is it Karen? Hold on. Yeah. Karen Cooper. That's all she did. She slept and stabbed. She slept and she stabbed. Let's see, who? which one is this guy? This is going to be probably... Ooh, the undead Johnny. I'm guessing anyway. I'm guessing. Again, it's hard to see the detail through the camera. So. And this is regular Johnny? Not dead Johnny? I don't know. Yeah, I can see the glasses. I don't know if I can see the gloves or not, but good stuff. Good stuff. Let me open up the other bag. So this is Helen, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. It's supposed to be Helen. I don't know why she's in a slapping pose. She's about to slap the shit out of somebody. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is the... Uh, the nightgown or the house gown or what are they calling this girl? The hospital gown ghoul. I'm sorry, this is the hospital gown ghoul. That's not the person I thought it was. This is a dude. My apologies. My apologies. It's not the lady I thought it was. So please forgive me. I sometimes just riff. I just go off, you know? He's eating people. He's eating peoples. He's actually eating uh, probably Tom or Judy. From the big fire, the cemetery ghoul, I believe this is. Who, by the way, was married to uh, the lady who played Judy. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Here we go. Here's the uh, tire iron ghoul. Looks like he's flipping you off. One. Just one brain. That's all I want to eat. Actually, brains weren't around yet, so... We gotta wait till Return of the Living Dead. Which, by the way, had a lot of people from Night of the Living Dead involved. Pretty cool stuff right here. I'm loving this. This is Bab, I believe. It's Babs. I'm pretty impressed by the detail on these little guys. And next to last, but not very least at all... Let me look at the pictures. This actually looks more like Undead Johnny. So who did I think was Undead Johnny before? Was it this one? Let me look at the box here. Give me a second. So this is the Cemetery Ghoul. And this is Undead Johnny. Cemetery Ghoul, Undead Johnny. It doesn't matter. They're only about two inches tall. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And now the grand prize... The man himself, George A. Romero, in a glow-in-the-dark figure. No, we will not be looking at what it looks like glow-in-the-dark. I'm not waiting till tonight to upload this. If I had thought about it last night, I would have done it. Here. That's what it'll look like glowing. <laughs> you know what glow-in-the-dark looks like. Right on. Let me get these guys set up. Let me get these guys set up around, around George here. Around Jorge. That's George in Spanish, right, Jorge? Correct me down below if I'm wrong. Look how fun these are. Look at how fun these are. That's awesome. So there you go. I hope you had a little bit of fun with me here. Let me push these back a little so you can actually see them. I'll get the box behind it so you don't see my messy home. 
pretty cool stuff. I'm glad I finally got to open this. Uh, a little underwhelming, but I don't know what I expected. I didn't expect anything to do a, a dance number, but um, I'm going to get these up on a shelf now. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about these. Leave me feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Guys, go ahead and hit that subscription button. You know, it's fun stuff. You know, don't. Don't. This is free entertainment. I'm not going to ask you for anything specific, but it would be, it would mean a lot to me if you did. Let's grow this channel. We're going to do all kinds of fun stuff on here. I know I keep saying it. And it's always random. That's the best part. I know a lot of people don't like random, but I'm random. And that's how I work, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I can't say enough. Wherever in the world you are, I hope you're all doing very well. Until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye bye